Hi everyone, back again. As in my last video, I said that I would share the rest of the stuff that was actually on its way to me. Um, I have been really good in saving, but um, these were goods that I had purchased pretty much a couple in a row and uh, just different dates, so they took a little bit more time to get here. Postage out here is horrific at times. It seems to take forever to get here. I have actually been waiting for my Studio Calico kit and finally today my April kit arrived so I wanted to share that with you as well. I know that a lot of you have actually already seen it but um, for the ones that visit my blog I just wanted to share, you, share with you um, what I actually got in that kit. So anyway we'll jump straight in because there's a lot to get through. So first off I just wanted to share a couple of goodies that I got from a shop here in Australia which is Anna's Craft Cupboard over in Western Australia. Um, I needed to find a place where I could actually purchase because my local scrapbook shop is now closed and I go through maxi lot of pearls at times so I um, didn't want to sort of pay the extra shipping to get them overseas when I know that these are Australian based company and they're made here in Australia so for me I needed to find somewhere here in Australia to purchase so I got a stack of the white and um, the off-white because they're the ones I use the most um, next up I got some border stickers from October afternoon these ones are called boarding pass label stickers I'm writing to layering right now and I find that I'm actually using um, stickers like this to add accents to my cards so I got those I also purchased some 12 by 12 pattern paper this is an old collection and it's from the Lily Bee memorandum and I got um, this one is called whiteboard I think it's called so it's just basically a text and then on the back it's just a really pretty like sort of soft blue with circles on it so I kind of got like pretty much three to four sheets of each of these this next one is called time clock and then on the back is just like a grid format so yeah I've got four of those ones and it's pretty much the grid that I'm going for rather than this one. This one I like both sides and this one is called Payday. And of course I've got four of those as well but I do like the front and back with this one. And then I just moved on to some October afternoon and I think I may have ordered this by mistake but I'm still happy with it. So this one is called, this is from the Farmhouse Collection and this one's called Porch Swing. So really really pretty and very vintage sort of style and then that's sort of what's on the back so really kind of cute very vintage so along with the farmhouse I ended up buy, buying the 8x8 um, paper pad and I am actually really surprised when I first saw this when it first came out I thought oh no I wouldn't use it but I'm actually really really happy that I purchased it. I love the vintage style of it. I love the muted tones in it. This is just going to be absolutely perfect for card making. So really, I mean there's always going to be the odd one in the collection that I won't use. Something like that I won't probably get around to using but I am really really happy with this paper pad. That I wouldn't use. I mean it's so not my style whatsoever. Um, and with that farmhouse I got the word stickers as well so some really wonderful vintage style looking stickers so that was basically from Anna's craft cupboard then I'll move on to Simon Says back in December Christmas time I ended up getting a little bit of money and I had some left over in January for as of Christmas present sort of type thing and I really didn't know what I wanted to use the rest of that money on so when CHA came along and these distress markers came out I knew that I was going to pre-order these through Simon Says so hence these arrived I won't take them out um, they come in a little container, a little caddy and they're all of the distress inks um, distress ink markers in there 
Okay, so what else did I purchase from Simon Says? This new line from Paper Tape. Um, it's from Cavallini, sorry. Cavallini and Company. Um, I love anything that has Paris. It comes in a really cute container. And it's just paper tape. And I tell you, I'm in love with this and can't wait to use it on something. Okay, so the other thing I purchased, you knew I'd actually purchased, if you've been watching my videos, um, the Tim Holtz um, Fine Tip Water Brush Marker water brush paint marker yep so I ended up going back and buying the broad tip one and a couple of girls have asked me to do a video about using both of these so over the next um, hopefully week or so I'll have a video up and you can check that out I also got some Fiskars paper trimmers they're nothing really exciting there's just something that I need to have in my supply now I also got these I'm on the fence about. These are Martha Stewart doilies. Um, I'm not really think I'm really into these actually. Um, I'm thinking that these are probably going to a blog candy or something like that, a bit of a giveaway. Or they may sit in my room for a while and I'll decide what I'm going to do with them. But um, I really liked her original ones that came out which were about the size of these ones. And I... I really do love them. They had been sitting in my craft room for a while and I finally got around to using them. But I find that these are probably will be ones that I probably won't use. So anyway, I did purchase them, so we'll see what happens. Next up, I brought some tags from American Tag Company. I think I went slightly mad. <laughs> so these are probably going to a giveaway. I mean, I'll probably use one or two. I don't know. But I'm right into layering on cards and, and everything. And I, I kind of got a little bit overzealous, I suppose, and thinking I could use a heap of these on cards and whatnot. But um, I think they're pretty cool. I haven't really opened them up yet. So I kind of like got small ones in there, tickets and tags and hang cells and whatever. So anyway, we'll see what I can come up with. I ended up getting a Piestra tile die from Memory Box. I thought this was really kind of super to make really quick cards with um, and very cash style so I ended up getting that. I also got from the Abroad collection these um, figures and I'm right into travel right now and I just absolutely adore the pattern that's on this. So I ended up getting those. I got some paper pads and first up I got the Amy Tangerine. Now everyone has seen this, this is not really that new now. Um, but I'm loving the bright colours in this. I think this will be awesome to use on some cards. Really loving Chevron and my favourite in this paper pad would have to be the cameras. I mean they're just adorable. Along with that, I ended up getting the Stitch Brads with that um, collection. Now the next paper pad I got was from Crepe Paper and it's called Pretty Party. And this month's kit from Basic, um, from a, sorry, from Studio Calico has some of the papers in the 12 by 12 from this collection. And so I decided I wanted to get the 6 by 6 paper pad. So really, really sweet papers. Last month's um, Studio Calico kit was from some of the papers in that was from Storyteller and so I knew I wanted to go back and actually get this paper pad. I love this cork. So all these papers you've seen before but um, they're kind of papers I never thought I'd actually use and I'm really quite surprised with what I've been making and how it's turned out with papers that are sort of pushing the boundaries as in crafting for me. So the next one I got was the Abroad collection from Studio Calico. As I said, I'm right into travel themed kind of things right now. So anything that has that on it, I'm, I'm practically grabbing. So love that. Okay, I think that's about all from Simon Says. Oh no, hang on, we've got a couple more. Okay, so I do have a few more things from Simon Says. Basically, I'd run out of some vellum, so they actually stock, if you can read that. It's the Basil Basics paper. 
Um, this comes in a sheets of, I'm going to say about 20, I'm not sure. But um, I don't use a lot of vellum, but I knew I was getting very low and I'm pleased that they actually stock it now. Next up, this was on special when I went to purchase it, so really, really happy. It's the Hero Art Sizzix um, Framelets and Stamp set. I've seen my friend Julie create cards using this stamp and this stamp down here and amazing. I love her cards. Um, so yeah, I, I knew that I wanted to actually finally get this, this um, stamp set and framelets. Uh, moving on, Nestability dies. This is the small pinking circles. I ended up buying the Martha Stewart, um, what was it, Martha Stewart starburst punch and it was a one inch and I wanted to get a punch that was actually larger to basically layer and as far as I know I haven't seen anything on the market that actually has that so I went with the pinking um, dies from Spellbinders I thought they would actually work okay I got some stamps and they've got these studio studio um, clear stamps from Claudine Helmuth really really cute I mean look at these houses love this bike and these little toperies I mean to die for really really in, in love with these stamps so I can't wait to break them out and have a go the last lot of stamps I got was from the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous and these ones are called the Warehouse District so I'm really really loving as I said travel there's a lot of travel and vintage themed th things in this um, collection and yeah, it's so right up my alley. So I love it. Okay, so I think the last thing I got... Yeah, so the last thing I got was some more specialty stamping paper. I knew that my um, distress markers were on their way. I do already have some of this, but being where I live, I know that um, it's pretty much hard to get your hands on um, certain products. So while I was ordering, I ordered another bundle of that. Alright, so moving on to Studio Calico, um, I purchased, purchased, you subscribe every month and you will definitely get your kit, um, but beyond that you need to be, for me, awake in the early hours of the morning to grab add-ons to add to your kit. So I actually purchased um, Louvre and Montmartre and I got another lot of pa extra paper from um, they just sort of have extra paper that you can purchase as well as an add-on. So what I'm going to do is run you through the papers. Um, they're in no particular order from no collection that in order. Um, they're just from, they're all collated together. So anyway, we'll get through this pretty quickly. Okay, so the first up is Miss Caroline. Now this one has like a bit of a wood grain, wood panel sort of doily effect on the top. And it is called... Um, worn paper okay this next one is um, from we are memory keepers and it's sherry from the good day sunshine so sorry that's the back it's a bit of a chevron another one from miss caroline and this one's called butterfly papers and of course for good reason this one is from pink paisley and it is called sunspot this one's from Echo Park and it's from the This and That collection and it is called Yardsticks. This one's from Cosmo Cricket from Baby Jane collection. This one's from My Mind's Eye, Follow Your Heart, Be Happy and this one's Be Joyful Paper. Another one from Miss Caroline and this one's called Lace Paper. This one is from Bella Boulevard and it's called Mum's Bouquet. This one's from Crate Paper and this one's called Invitation. This one's from Bow Bunny and called Double Dot. This one's from Echo Park and from the Style Essentials. And this one's called Light Pink Quarterfoil. Quarterfoil, sorry. Okay, this one is um, Sassafras Lass and it's um, specifically designed for Studio Calico. So, and this one actually doesn't have a name with it. This is another one um, designed for Studio Calico. This one's called Register. 
This one's from Crepe Paper and from the Pretty Party collection called Paper Cloth. This is another one that's designed for especially for Studio Calico called Lady Bike. This is a Sassafras one designed for Studio Calico. Another Follow Your Heart My Mind's Eye pattern paper and this one's called Favourite Things. My Mind's Eye Follow Your Heart Be Happy Follow paper. This one's a Sassafras Lass. Oh no, sorry, this one's Kezi Art. And this one's a France company and I'm yet to find where they actually stock that. This is another one from the Kezi Art. It's got a bit of a texture to it as well. This one's from Lily Bee and this is called Sunflower. This is another Kezi Art. This one is just, they're going into some extra ones now. So this is another one. This is the one from Miss Caroline and Butterflies. Another one of that doily wood grain wood effect. Another one of the We Are Memory Keepers. Sunspot once again. This one's from the This and That collection from Echo Park. And this one's called Flower Box. This one's from Miss Caroline collection and this one is called Rose's Paper. Just another one from that this and that collection and that's one the yardstick one. Um, the Cosmo Cricut one, Baby Jane. The Follow Your Heart, Be Joyful. Miss Caroline Lace Paper. And this one is from the Neapolitan Sparkling Smile and it's a vellum with a pink polka dot so it's really cool. I've actually already got some of that in my collection. Um, this one is from Jenny Bolin and it's a stencil, stencil lettering guide and it's really really cool. You can actually use this for an actual layout or if you want a mist or just blend or anything. These would be really really cool and fun effective. You also get cardstock within the kit. So there's a green, a cream, a grey, and a nice teal. Okay, so that's all the papers from the collection. The next thing I want to share with you are just the embellishments. Um, first up, some washi tapes. So a great chevron. I already have this one in my collection already, so it's quite handy to have another one. So I may even throw that into a giveaway. Um, sorry, bump the camera there. Got some brads and really cute buttons. So I'll just show you a few of those. Right. So really, really sweet, really cute. I found that this one hasn't been put on properly. As you can see, it's pretty dodgy. So I'll probably end up cutting that off and actually just sticking the rose directly on. So. So those were in the, one of the kits. Also got these little flag craft sort of tag type things. What you do is you actually fold them over and they come with these pin type banner holders and they just sit like you'll obviously glue that down and it just sits on your page. So I mean you could pretty much make these yourself. Um, got some journaling tags and these are white with craft. So just some really cute little labelling tags, journaling cards, sorry. Okay, so ended up getting, this was in the kit as well, this was in the main kit actually. This is a Sassafras Lass um, Cute Butterfly Stickers, beautiful pastel colours. Got some tags with this and it's actually got die cuts in them. They're all different so you can just punch them out and add your journaling or just add this to a card with some more embellishing. So really cute. I won't open them up. Everyone's probably seen them before. Got some Kezi art stickers. So you could add your dates or just add this as an embellishment. Some Dear Lizzie um, wooden buttons and some of these actually have epoxy centers. So really cute. Um, Smash um, Company, K and Company Smash, sorry. And these are a bit of a journaling card type things. I'm not really into the smash book type thing, so this might go into a giveaway, but who knows. Leave it there long enough, I'll probably use it. 
and whoever wins it I do apologise that ripped off if it happens to go that way um, some really beautiful twine this is lemon and white okay crepe paper pretty party brads the storyteller wooden frames not quite sure how or if I'll ever use these but we'll wait and see um, Christy Tomlinson the mask vintage doily I reckon this will be really quite cool to make some different things with um, some thickers from Amy Tangerine and this one's called Muse and I think if I can get up close you may be able to just check it out yeah there you go see how it's got a bit of a wood grain effect going through it so it's kind of like a really soft grey blue type colour with white so really pretty some foam thickers from American Crafts and this one's called Eric I love that they've got like big and large sort of font in them these ones were specifically designed for Studio Calico from Basic Grey. So they're really cool. Um, the stamps that come in the collection, this one's from the main kit. Really cute bicycles. And the wording that says enjoy the ride. And these are in conjunction with Hero Arts. Um, they make them especially for Studio Calico. So love you more. And this last one has some really great background features and a couple of sentiments that you could add okay and the last thing the last thing I got was just some stuff from the actual shop and I end up getting these badges and this is for the abroad collection and I end up getting this calico collections volume 2 and this is just great basic background paper so I may have to have a bit of a clean out of my paper pad collection I think. And the last thing I got were these wood grain kind of text um, background, not text, um, ledger kind of background sticker butterflies. So yeah, that's about it. Um, you always get these cute little cards and I think they're adorable. And it tells you who actually packs your package and this one was from Christine that was from one of my add-ons and the main kit was packed exclusively by April McKinney so really happy I'm glad everything's arrived so now it'll be play 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 and see what I can come up with I'm hoping I can actually do a couple of videos to share with you um, we'll see how that runs and I hope everyone has a great day and I'll catch you next time bye